needs this house needs to be demolished. Look at that. What did I do with my key, man? It must have fell out of my hand. Why did I just leave it in there? Why did I do that? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I said, oh man, please don't let me be stranded out here. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. There's two really bad things that can happen to you on a motorcycle. You either get in an accident and have a real effed up day. <laughs> or you get stranded. And I'll tell you if you had one of these new luxury motorcycles like I have. The Ducati X Diablo S. S is in sweet. And I know some of the Harley Davidsons have them, some of the other high-end bikes have the keyless start system, you know, the key fob you keep in your pocket, and you just hit the start button. <laughs> Baby starts right up, right? Nice and convenient. Well, you know what? There's a high chance you can end up stranded because of this system. Because of two stupid ways, and it happens to a lot of riders, believe it or not, is if you leave this key fob at home, jump on your bike, you go to the store or wherever and you cut it off, you go to start it, you don't have this key fob and guess what, you're going to have to get a tow. And the second stupid way is because you fail to change the battery in your key fob, which it takes a simple 2032 battery, which you can get really cheap. I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video where you can get them really cheap. You definitely want to change your battery every year and keep a couple of spare batteries in the trunk of your bike, which I think pretty much that's all I can fit in the trunk on this bike because that trunk is so ridiculously small. But I'll tell you guys, one thing about this new system that I love, as long as you have this key fob in your pocket, is that you won't end up stranded like I almost was with my CBR 1000 R. It just has the basic key that I happen to take out. Very stupid took it out, was talking in my motor vlog out in the country and I dropped it in the grass without paying attention. And I go to get on my bike, key's not there. I'm like, oh man, I must have dropped it. And then I went into panic mode and had a breakdown. <laughs> Why did I just leave it in there? Why did I do that? I know some of you may have seen that in a few videos back, uh, but it wasn't pretty. And I'll tell you guys, I learned my lesson. I'm going to keep the key in the ignition. If somebody steals a bike, I'd rather have somebody steal the bike than to end up being stranded out there, you know, with this bike. Uh, because I'll tell you, I didn't even know where I was, man. And it was, it was like an hour and a half from getting dark. And I don't know if you guys know, but out in the country, it gets pitch black out there, man. It would have really sucked to have to walk this bike down the street and try to figure out where I was and call for help. And hope, you know, have them uh, tow the bike. But thank God it didn't come to that. That's why I had that meltdown because I knew what the score was if I couldn't find that key. But anyways, guys, I'm going to, I, the Repsol fairings are going to be changed, put on this bike very soon. Uh, I, have, I just haven't had time. I still got to do some maintenance on this bike. So look forward to that. Also, I'll have a video I'll be doing a, a GPS bracket build and uh also i'll be have it set up where the bike's going to power the gps and the camera that goes on the bars one thing that's really awesome with this bike is that it has a power uh wire there with it has a plug that you can you can uh solder in some wires on here and you can unplug it because there's a plug right there but this is specifically for it even says on the wire for uh, gps or navigation and uh, usb so I tell you, that's one reason why I really, amongst many reasons, I really love Ducati is that they, I mean, these are riders who build bikes for riders. They put all the little conveniences in for us. And it's really awesome, like this uh, angled tire stem here. So I don't have to put my fingers through the discs and all that when I want to put air in the tire. I know you can add your own, you know, angled tire stem, but it's really awesome. It comes stock that way. And just, I'll tell you, it's just... This bike has everything, and it's really awesome. I love this bike, by the way, man. But I can't wait to get back on my WR250R, man. I miss doing some off-road, you know, hooligan riding out there and just, just having a good time. Hit the twisties, 
head off road, have some fun. Ah, oh, I miss that, man. That's the number one, numero uno bike in the garage. I tell you guys, and this bike I'm gonna keep for as long as I until this bike is absolutely trashed, and then I'll probably rebuild it. I love that bike, man. But also, I wanted to mention, guys, that give you an update on the lithium battery that I have in this bike. Um, I'll tell you guys, I have not rode this bike in like six weeks, unfortunately. And it's been sitting in this super cold weather. It's, it's like 10, 15 degrees, man. I don't even connect a trickle charger to the battery, you know, like I do with my X Diablo and my CBR 1000 double R. And I'll tell you guys, this thing hardly lose, this thing doesn't lose any voltage. I'll tell you. I even use this bike to inflate my uh, the tires on this bike and this bike. Pretty loud. Which, by the way, that, that portable slime uh, inflator is awesome so far. I've had no problems, and it fits in my little pack on the back of my uh, WR250R. By the way, I'll include a link to that inflator in the description and comment section of this video. Also, the lithium battery that's in this bike, I'll include... Uh, a link to get it in the description and comment section of this video. But as you can see here, you know, on the bar pad, I have put in integrated uh, controls on it for convenience. I have the voltmeter here where you just click the on button here, switch 13.1 volts, man. I'm telling you, this bike's been sitting six weeks in super cold weather with no trickle charger. By the way, I do have heated elements. Uh, underneath the grips, which I'll include a link to, by the way, really awesome. And I put the controls there on the bar pad. And this is a two-way switch for my power command where I have two maps. I have one for the airbox door uh, stock setup and one without the airbox door because I had these the custom tuned maps. And I tell you guys, that lithium battery is really amazing. I'm gonna put one on my CBR 1000 R. I have that cheap Chinese gel battery in this. And I have to keep it on a trickle charger, otherwise it loses voltage, but I'm going to be replacing that soon. This, I'm just going to leave the stock battery, uh, but I'll keep it on a, a trickle charger. Like I said, I'm not doing any, I'm not putting, doing really any mods of this bike besides a GPS setup. Um, I may put a Termi exhaust on or not, I don't know, which is approved by Ducati, by the way. They even have factory maps that they load on the bike for the Termi exhaust. That would be the only aftermarket exhaust I would get for this bike, which is, it's an absolutely amazing exhaust. But $2,800, man, I could go buy me a, a track bike probably for $2,800. I just can't see spending that much money. If somebody sells a used one for like 50% off, I may pick one up that way. Otherwise, I probably won't, won't get it. Um, I like the stock exhaust. It sounds great, but it is kind of quiet. But it sounds better than this stock exhaust that was on this CBR 1000 R. I'll tell you guys. But anyways, for those of you that want to get the mods that I have on the CBR 1000 R or the WR 250R, I have uh, go to my website cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab uh, My Mods. And those are links to all the mods that I did on that bike. I put like over $4,000 in mods on that bike. Um, and this bike, I, put, I didn't put a whole bunch on this bike, but uh, I did put some. So go check that out if you want to get it. But anyways, also for those of you who want to get my gear, you know, my winter jacket, which is amazing, which comes in high vis or black, by the way, for those of you who like to ride around invisible, which is stupid in my opinion, but... Links to get that jacket, my camel pants, my helmet, gloves, everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Or you can go to my website as well and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And that's links to all of my gear. And if you want to see more of my videos at my website, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of different playlists with all of my over 1,000 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to, net, to find a video you're looking for to help you out either inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up. It helps motivate me to do more videos as well. Hey, share this video with your friends so that they won't end up stranded on their Ducati X Diablo S or Harley or any other bikes that have that keyless system. Subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all you guys. Take care. You know I'm looking out for you. Like I said, look forward to the GPS video 
uh, build video for the bike for the X Diablo and also the Repsol fairings and I got still motor vlogs to uh, upload as well until next time catch you guys later Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out modal van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.